Welcome to Unity Real-Time Light Training, Part 5. This is a list of topics covered in this video. There are two ways to submit your data at the end of each month, the manual method and the automatic method. When using the manual method, select Tools, Unity Interlab, Send Receive Data. Select the Send Data to Buyer Ad checkbox and click OK. Information about due dates can be found at www.qcnet.com. Unity Real-Time Lite can automatically submit your data. To set this up, click Tools and Setup. Select Automatic Monthly Transmission and choose the date you want the software to submit the data. For this function to work, a user with the appropriate permissions must be logged into the software. In the last step, you submitted your data to the Unity Interlaboratory program. After this data has been processed, you can access your peer reports on QCNet. First, log on. Existing users enter a login ID and password. New users must register. Completing this registration gives you access to QCNet. After purchasing the software, BuyerAd associates your primary user with a lab number. This allows them to assign access. Now that we're logged on, let's access peer group reports. Click My Unity Reports. This is the My Reports page. BuyerAd is constantly improving QCNet so you may notice improvements to this page. There are four different reports. The first is My Reports. This compares your laboratory to your consensus group data. Select the desired parameters, and QCNet automatically generates a report. Next, we'll select the Instant QC Reports tab. Instant QC Reports provide on-demand access to the latest Unity Interlaboratory program statistics. Remember, if you want more information about these reports, see module number three. Worldwide reports supply summary statistics for every peer and method group in the Unity Interlaboratory program. Many customers find this helpful when switching to a new control or lot. Finally, manufacturer reports provide summary statistics for every peer and method group in the Unity Interlaboratory program grouped by instrument. The manufacturer report is a good reference when evaluating a new instrument, kit, or method. You've just completed basic training. If you need additional training, please remember the four additional platforms that we covered in Part 1. For all of your QC needs, visit www.qcnet.com.